happen. So, all right, coming into the players here. Well, you get us started here, Anurag. I'll try to pull up these lists and see what we're up against. Well, it's it's crab in time. So we got turn one ruined crab off of a what? What did I even say? It's crab. Corey, you got to stop me from saying this. It's crab in time. time? <laughs> I, I like it. I like it. That's perfect. You nailed field it. of <laughs> field of ruin, drown in the lock, fractured sanity, and fatal push in the hand here for our mill player on the other side. We see misty rainforest immediately fetching for our steam vents. Wow, I like that. Yeah, so this is a bit of a wild deck if I'm looking at this. This is, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is Glimpse of Tomorrow we're up against here too. So this is not a very classic list that we would see. Um, this is, anybody who's not familiar, Glimpse of Tomorrow, <laughs> shuffle all the permanents you own into your library, and then you put them right back. But the one thing about this matchup is this deck main oh, decks four no. and four. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mill, meet, meet your worst enemy. Four ever cool the Aeon's Torn in the main deck. Get this Mill player a body bag. We are in a lot of trouble here. I don't know how they can possibly win. I mean, it, it, it begins with extraction. Um, you know, surgical extractioning these emercools at some point, but I don't see those in the main. Wow, I, what a matchup. I would, that was not my impression of Tasha's hideous laughter. That was just me <laughs> laughing at another emercool being milled there. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a journey because we don't even have our third land. Oh. I, think, I think this is like an instance of the caster curse. Me being like, oh yeah, what was this sweet mill deck? Maybe they've got the new Jace, uh, you know, from Phyrexia. And... Yeah. Uh, just immediately paired up against the Nightmare matchup. Well, you are right. There is four new Jace in this deck. You know, there's a bunch of cool stuff. But the one thing I'm noticing, there is no Surgicals in the main. They're just in the in the board. So I'm thinking it's not even, like, possible to win the first game here from our uh, male player. Like, actually, Stone Cold, impossible. Which right. is just hilarious, to be honest. I have the out. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. So we're going to draw... Two more Tasha's Hideous Laughters. The first one's going to hit... The top two cards are going to be Emrakul's. The second one's going to hit... The next two cards are going to be Emrakul's. And then, bang, we decked them out with the last one. I, I've already... Okay. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, they there's are Omniscience exiled. in the deck as well. <laughs> yeah, there's Omniscience. There is also four Atraxa, which also costs seven. So these Tasha's Hideous Laughters are one of the most... Are one of the worst cards possible. There's also four... Of, or one with the multiverse, which cost eight mana. I mean, this is just a comedy of errors. Yeah. In, I mean, in matchup wise, like, oh man, how, I can't get over this. This is hilarious. Imagine just waking up one day and being like, you know what deck I don't want to lose to ever? Mill. Yeah. yeah. And, and this is it. This is what it looks like. Peak performance. <laughs> yeah. And this is a bit of a strange deck, too, you know, where um, Glimpse of Tomorrow, we've seen this in Omnash Shells. We've seen this with just elemental backgrounds as far as the deck goes. But then there are these kind of versions that just play gigantic things. And your whole goal is to, you know, either Violent Outburst or Shardless Agent and just hit one of these big things. You're not trying to hit a bunch of them. You just want one thing. But yeah, this is going to be an absolutely hilarious first match to watch. Yeah, I... uh I guess there is the other forbidden technique that you could use to win, which is like the opponent draws all four Emrakul technique. I, it's very unlikely, yeah. but there's like there's like there's the the margin is so slim here. I can't even like fathom otherwise how you'd be able to uh, to get out of this kind of situation. So we're gonna see yeah. visions of beyond on the stack here, and uh, hopefully that'll draw something. Yeah, got, got 20 cards in the graveyard, I guess. Absolutely. But in response, I was going to say, are we going to Violent Outburst and shuffle stuff into your graveyard? Man, this is... I'm excited to catch up on chat in seven minutes and, and yeah, see right? all their, their laughter is being joined in with us. Interestingly enough, the Field of Ruin uh, failed to find um, a basic for the Glimpse player. So... We are on somewhat restricted resources here when we're trying to push forward, but uh, I got to imagine that uh, even despite that, it's still going to be free. 
<laughs> yeah. And I just, like we were saying, I just don't know how this game can end besides like frustration and laughter from both play players. One of them being a hideous. Let's see how many cards milled. We started with 27. Yeah. I'm going to guess four. Okay. Four is my line. And I think that might be aiming high. But nope. Decides to force it anyways. Okay. Yeah. No, that's that's one of the very few ways you could actually get the game out. So forcing this means. Yeah. I I respect I respect the struggle. We'll see what let's see how this goes. You know, like it's it's gonna be tough by all means, but uh are there any creatures in this deck that could attack? Um uh, well double checking the list here. There is Jace's ultimate, which uh I don't think that actually is great. But no, otherwise the only creatures are eight crabs. Um, the only, the only other stuff that does anything is mill cards. It's eight crabs, mills, and then four jaces. So no, I just I truly don't think it's possible. Unless you draw all four Emrakuls naturally. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, yeah. Not what I expected to see here, but it looks like we're gonna see shardless agent. Okay, wave sifter. Get some more permanents onto the battlefield. Now, what's funny is it's turn seven, turn six or so, and the glimpse player has done actually just nothing. I mean, yeah. that's that's the scary part, right? Is that they they could literally do nothing and probably just deck their opponent out <laughs> if they wanted to. So yeah, just naturally deck them out and just hope to. Uh, okay, so let's see if this one results. We're at twenty six cards. Yeah, you said four, right? I thought four. Yep. Oh, it. spot on. <laughs> There's one of the Emrakuls. What else do we get? Violent Outburst and an Atraxa? All right. <laughs> okay. You're probably familiar with a lot of, like, SCG coverage, right? Yeah, uh, a decent amount. You, yeah, so you know, like, the I'm thinking about, like, these games where they had, like, the the BBD, like, whiffs on, uh, like, a creature, like, for 10 turns in a row, and then somehow, like, Brad wins the Sneak and Show Mirror. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm oh, kind of yeah. hoping kind of hoping something like that happens here i mean of course i'm familiar with the the bbd <laughs> trolling my brother for the last like five years through that bat or excuse me my brother trolling bbd uh that one was hilarious to watch absolutely yeah there was another great one which was like harry corvese um like lands like a turn one blood moon and then dies to like the jun player who's got like death right shaman and nothing else <laughs> yeah yeah oh classic death right shaman that's a heck of a magic card but yeah, looking at the board set now, Wave Sifter getting in. So I think we've actually found the real win condition here. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Corey, but these are open deck lists, right? These are open deck lists. Yep. Yeah. So both players know what kind of absurd, you know, matchups they are in for. And you know what? We had to bring you this because these players are both 3 0. We're going to take a little break throughout our day from uh, maybe the serious decks that we've been seeing. And, uh, you know, meme together with all of us. So this is absolutely awesome. Yeah, as far as memes go, we stumbled into the best one. So I'm yeah. I'm all for it. Yeah. Yeah. These memes are our dreams here so far. Drown in the lock gonna take care of the wave sifter here. Untap and draw into Oh man, it really just has to be hideous laughter if we're if we're being serious about winning this game, because these triple fatal pushes are not getting us anywhere. <laughs> Get that plant out of here. Get that plant out of here. And at some point, Glimpse, I mean, I'm going to double check now, but a Glimpse shuffles everything from your library, then you reveal that many things, and then you put them all to the battlefield, and uh, yeah, you put the rest at the bottom of your library. Okay, so it doesn't shuffle in. That is good news, you know? I mean, anything that is in the yard right now will stay there. But yeah, I'm surprised, actually. What, what does this mean if... Uh... Uh, our glimpse player has not yet put a cascade spell on the stack in any way, right? Like, wh what is the end game here? Why are we taking so long? What is the what probably, is the plan? Probably setting up to do multiple violent outbursts. That's one option. The hand could be very bad. That's another option. Um, you know, could have drawn all these targets. Really have no idea without the hand cam. Maybe we'll try to get this player to get the hand cam ready because this deck is sweet. We'd love it to is. check it out a little bit more. And I have a sneaking suspicion that they're going to be 4-0. Of course, anything can happen. But <laughs> it would be a fun one to keep an eye on. 
So maybe we'll have our director pester that person a little bit, get them on it. Yeah. Valakut Awakening going to come into play tapped as, I think it's Valakut Stoneforge. I, I got to double check my... Yeah, something like that. And here is Jace, the new addition. And now you can just tick this up. Oh, it looks like we did tick it down to just draw a card. Now here's the question. Do you play a land? Here's six cards. I hope you don't have an Emrakul. Any triggers on the stack? Any? Okay. Oh, there we go. Wow. <laughs> So close, yet so far. So close, but yet impossible. Yeah. <laughs> I have oh, to guess, though, glorious. if people are, like, you know, wondering why mill deck is the way it is right now, like, with no surgicals in the main deck, um, my best guess is Jace the Mind Skull. Wow, that was not a slip. Jace the Perfected Mind um, <clears throat> is probably what, what was uh it would probably what is replacing the surgical extractions which i think makes sense because the the new jace seems like it was like designed to be the top end of this yeah. deck specifically yeah and let's maximize that jace there because i believe that was just negative two draw three cards you know since there's so many cards in the in the yard you just get to draw a bunch and there it is just a bunch of omniscience and stuff and that's gonna be enough yeah, normally I'd say maybe we'd switch off this, but I think we all kind of want to watch how this unfolds because it's quite hilarious. It's 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 rarely do you get to, you know, be put in a position where you're rooting for Mill as the underdog, but like just getting paired against like Quad Emrakul to me is maybe the funny not not even that, just like Quad Emrakul, a bunch of Atroxes, a bunch of Omnisciences. This is like Tasha's Hideous Laughter's Worst Nightmare, and... Oh, 100%. I'm all but, for it. To be fair, in the sideboard, there is three Surgicals and two Excrepades. So, I mean, okay, the tools those are... are there now. You get to take out Fatal Pushes, and now you get to play a real game. So, now both players know that, and now it'll be interesting how they pivot into these things. But honestly, to add more problems to this, <laughs> there's... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> this is so good. There are four ley line of sanctity in play, which would stop the mill. And then there's also three endurance in the sideboard of this five color. <laughs> so you can endurance yourself in response to these surgicals. You can have ley line to just never get milled out in the first place. 911, oh. I'd like to report a murder. Oh no, this is <laughs> this is rough. This may be the funniest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> Yo, real, real, really quickly. Next to omniscience, it seems like there's an enchantment in play, and I can't quite tell what that is. It looks like it costs eight mana. Yeah, there one, we go. Uh, one with the multiverse. Okay, so this is a new card. Perhaps you may look at the top card of your library. You may play lands and cast spells. Once during each of your turns, you may cast a spell from your hand or the top of your library without paying its mana cost. Okay, cool. So yeah. that probably works nicely with glimpse alongside. Heavy yeah. hitters like Emrakul and, and stuff. Yeah, it's basically omniscience at home, you know? Yeah, that's a good way to put it. We might be stuck with that one with multiverse forever. That sounds about right. <laughs> uh, maybe not. It, it might go away when they start playing, but who knows? That might just be some classic moto things. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. But looking at the opponent's, uh, the mill, the mill player's hand here, we've got a Hedron Crab, Misty Rainforest, Jace the Perfected Mind. Archive Trap and a couple more lands here. Gemstone Caverns is the start here for our Glimpse player. I guess we're just we're just in a world where one with multiverse is just there. I I've never seen this from Moto either, but I guess this is a day of firsts. Uh, we've been seeing so <laughs> a comedy of errors, I guess, huh? All right. Well, for the memes, I guess we'll leave it. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Valakut Stoneforge coming into play. Tapped your drown in the lock is the draw and uh, going to begin the process now. So looks like a couple cards hit the graveyard. Violent Outburst, Mystical Dispute, and Stomping Ground. It is. I don't know if you've ever played like Super Smash Brothers, but in oh, yeah. um, Melee, there was this one level. It was called Race to the Finish, where you basically had to like, you know, take a character and run through a maze. That's yeah. exactly what I envisioned this as like. Whoever finds like. Emrakul versus Surgical versus Endurance, like, first is, like, is the one who will probably end up winning here. Oh, here's an Emrakul. Shovel it back. 
Oh, man. Absurd. Yeah, apparently right. we just clicked on that one with the multiverse and it just stayed there. For anybody who is wondering what is uh, going on with that one. We're as confused as you. But hey, in case you need the Oracle text on that, we got it for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian, if you want to try, you could like hit the back button on the bottom left next to the settings and things like that. I don't know if that would actually. You could work. always leave the match and then come back into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, persists. All right. Well. Yeah. yeah leave the match. Come back into it. You can come back to us for a second, and we can uh, we can giggle together as whatever is going on there, and we'll try to get back to the action. But hey, moto things, you know. I mean, we've all experienced maybe the thought sees bug. You know, when the match kind of resets itself, when you're looking at a card, apparently it just stays there. That's a new one to me. But you know that, what? That is a new one to me. Um, we roll with the punches, I guess, on Arag. I saw Shardless Agent cascade into Glimpse of Tomorrow, and then it we brought it! nicely done. Yeah, <laughs> Endurance and Wave Wave Sifter are now in play, and uh, this is it. I don't think you need to do anything else after this point. You could just like attack, and you'll probably just end up winning the game because your deck is just so anti mill. Like, oh my goodness! <laughs> oh man, Adarog, this is uh, is this kind of what you expected your first Mana Trader series to be like? I mean, this has got to be my highlight of the of the day so far. It it, awesome. it really it really is like this is the the best. I I if if I knew the Mana Traders was like this every time, I would be in every single event in every single <laughs> leadership race. Like, yeah, we might have great. to uh, might have to get you playing on the battlefields. It's one of the bounties, especially if we ever get a legacy one. How about you just oh, consider? Yeah. consider <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I don't want to. I don't want to cost them too much money. Yeah, uh, you might be giving it away, huh? There we go. So, looks like that was a negative to just draw one card. Desperate times, desperate measures here. Okay, but we did find the extra pay, which is a big deal. So now we actually get to play the game a little bit. I guess. I guess. If we <laughs> see Emrakul, you get to get that. But here's the thing. If you extra paid Emrakul, the trigger still goes, and you still got to remill all those cards once again. So Oh. Oh. Okay, so that explains the Soul Guide Lantern, then. We are, like... Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of cards for uh, for the Soul <laughs> Guide here. I mean, for the Emrakul here, yeah. Yeah, Glimpse of Tomorrow with uh, four Emrakuls, three Endurance, four Leyline of Sanctity. Who would have guessed has a pretty good mill matchup? <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. All right, so going to fetch with the Delta. Okay, well, I was going to say, he, okay, he drawn Crab targets uh, um, Mills and Emrakul, and then the trigger gets effectively countered by the Soul Guide Lantern because all the cards get exiled. So yep. it's the first step here. 31 cards left in the deck here for Xenowan onto Glimpse combo. But on the other side, you see, like, Mill is at eight, and that's exactly how much power and toughness is on board. Glimpse of Tomorrow now. Off of suspend, and Ooh. and honestly, sometimes you didn't want to do that. The battlefield is pretty good already. Yeah, but uh, yeah, even puts the one glimpse on bottom with that endurance. But now you do have a couple of do not maximize that card, Adrian. Whatever you do, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be stuck with it forever. But now you know, as far as my understanding of this card, you could play either one card off the top of your deck or one from hand and then since there's two of them maybe it stacks i don't know that's a big question mark for me not sure how that one works okay but there's hey, Atraxa. Not? there's the old Atrax arena so you can archive trap and then counter it that's pretty Looks cool like but says no oh fascinating maybe because we want them to quote unquote draw cards Oh, never uh, mind. Okay. Maybe fell asleep at the wheel. Who knows there? I think <laughs> I think just the pure dread of that matchup. Like, just think about being like, you know what? I'm going to have a good old day. I just beat Gabriel Nassif. I just won 50 stone cold dollars beating Gabriel Nassif, the Hall of Famer. What? I mean, I, I can beat anyone that I run into. And then looks at deck those and be like, oh. Oh. <laughs> Read the text one oh, more time. Oh, no. <laughs> Like you yeah. gotta feel for the mill player that you can't win that match. Huh? 